Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm gonna go over the instant uh, pod. Just a basic uh, user uh, function for this uh, programmable electric uh, pressure cooker. This is applied to uh, model numbers uh, IP dash uh, dual 60 or the 80 model. So first of all, we want to go ahead and identify the parts and the lids and all the functions, uh, all the parts and stuff like that. Before we go ahead and then I show you the functions. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and then identify the lid. So it's kind of hard to see right here. I'm going to zoom. Let me bring it closer. As you can see, it says uh, close right here. When you uh, turn it uh, clockwise, and then uh, counterclockwise, it says uh, open. And then there is a marking right here, like a upside down triangle. And right here, it says uh, lock and then unlock right here. So when you uh, turn this counterclockwise, it's gonna unlock. And after that, you can lift up the lid. So right here, this part is the lid handle. And then this one, the whole thing is the lid. This one is the lid uh, position uh, mark. And you have the lid uh, fan on both sides. And right here is the pressure release. As you can see, when you turn it up, it says uh, ceiling. And then when you turn it down, it says uh, venting. So you gotta be careful when you, it's doing the high pressure cooking. When you want to turn this to vent, venting to let the to release the air or the steam out you gotta be, care, be careful some of this uh when you release it it uh, has a hot and high pressure of water is gonna blow out or coming up from here so if you want you could use like a towel to go to go over it so it won't hit your face or anything like that or burn your skin and then right here the silver one this is the float valve <laughs> and let's check it out the inside <laughs> so this is the flow valve on the left hand side and then this is the pressure release right here Maybe the other model, the 80 model, it might have uh, like a rectangular that you could pop it out to clean it out. And this is the ceiling uh, ring. And this one is, you could also remove it, remove to uh, put in like a dishwasher or to wash it in case you might have a mold around the the inside of the rubber part right here. And this is called a ceiling uh, ring rack right here. So you gotta be sure the rubber is sitting uh, between the lid and then the ring rack, okay? So let me show you guys on how to take out and clean the parts. For the flow valve, there's a rubber piece right here. Be sure to hold it on the other side, okay? Also, if you remove it, uh, the pin is gonna pop out. 
So you just take out this uh, rubber piece in case you want to clean it. So once you remove this side, uh, it's going to become loose. So that means you can you could remove this uh, float valve right here. This is the float valve. So in case you need to clean it out inside or whatever, so just take it out or put it in a dishwasher. So I'm going to put it back in and pop up that rubber uh, piece back in. And on this uh, pressure release, in case you want to clean it, all you do is just uh, pull out straight. And after you finish cleaning it, all you do is just uh, pop it back in, that's it. And make sure you turn it, see if it's working. And you could remove this uh, pressure release uh, right here. There's a, like a cap. If you want to clean it out, you just go around the ring. Or you have some kind of prying tool you can pry it out. So you can pop this uh, out to clean it. And it's holding by this uh, metal uh, clips all around it. After you finish cleaning, all you do is just uh, push in and pop in. And that's it. If you want to remove the seal ring, all you do is just uh, pull this out. Okay? I don't want to take it out, so it's, I'm just going to take it like uh, one third out. So before you got to see. So this is a rack. So make sure the rubber is sitting in, in between the, the rack and then the the lid. So just push in, okay. After you uh, finish cleaning it, and then that's it. So in case your lid doesn't close, you, you have to play with the flow uh, valve, okay. If some uh, if you got food or some kind of sticky stuff uh, sticking on this uh, rubber piece and then the aluminum parts right there, somehow this pin does not go in. So that means uh, you cannot close the lid or turn it to close. So you gotta click, push push this in, and now the this uh, pin it could uh, go all the way in. Okay, so that's that, and then um, we're gonna go through about the inner uh, part. <coughs> so after you view like a, for example, if you cook, cook a rice and then you take it into the sink and then uh, you wash it. And somehow if the outer uh, inner part uh, get wet around this right here, you have to clean it with the dry towel, okay? And be sure this is the two-third max. That's the highest uh, that you could go up to. You can't go up too high, or else unless you cook something, it's overflow, it's gonna damage your uh, your cooking uh, or heating element that's inside here, right? So you might get the electrocuted or whatever because the water or the steam get in there. So it says that in case you are cooking like uh, beans or anything like that, that uh, it's gonna expand and you want to put the water all the way up to half only okay you don't want to put out 
on the two-third mar uh, marking. So be sure on the heating element, nothing gets wet inside. As you can see, it's uh, pretty clean. In case the water gets in here, you want to wipe it before you plug the plug into the wall outlet. <laughs> so it comes with this uh, cable and it only co uh, connects into uh, one way, okay? Uh, this one is the IP uh, Duo, the 60 model. So on the back, or near the back, there's this uh, condensation uh, collector right here. Okay, the clear. What you do just uh, in case you collect a lot of water, you don't want to overflow. You had to clean it or just keep your eyes on it and then I just put this back and dump this uh, water or into the sink. And to put it back, all you do is just uh, push in and clip, clip, clip it back. That's it, right? And it says that do not immerse uh, this pot in water. So this is only for indoor use only or countertop. So I'm going to plug it in and demonstrate for you guys real quick. Before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to go over the parts for the for this uh this pot, I mean the instant pot. So both of the side right here is the cooker handle. Okay, so you don't burn yourself. And then uh, this one is the inner part and this is the exterior part. And both of this side is also uh, known as a lid stand. Uh, this is the cooker base. And you got this uh, control box and then control panel on the front. So let me show you guys the lid, how you guys uh, could uh, rest the lid on top of the cooker handle. So after you open it up, you can set it either on the right hand side like that. or on the left hand side okay since i'm i have a cabinet on top it's, i cannot close it i mean put it on all the way in right now so don't force the lid in if it doesn't close right or it doesn't sit in right you gotta be sure you kind of match the marker and look on top And then you can close it. So I'm going to plug it in right now and test it out. So every time when you plug this one in, it will say off. Okay. And then you go in there and then if you want to cook the rice, you press the rice here. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Before it's moving, and when you open and close, it's gonna make the sound. Okay, that's open. So that's close. So 
So for example, if you want to click the rise, you could put hit the rise button right here and it shows uh, 15, how long you want to cook it. And you could change the low pressure or high pressure by pressing the pressure uh, level button right here. And if you press uh, rise one more time, uh, it shows uh, 8 minutes and you could also adjust uh, low and high pressure. And on the, it says uh, less, I guess less heat, no more heat, and then more heat. And in case you need to uh, customize the, oops. If you don't touch anything, automatically uh, go into standby mode and start cooking. So go to rice. And if you want to customize uh, the time, this is eight minute cooking. Well, I guess uh, this one you cannot. So either eight minutes, and 12 minutes and it's on normal but you still could adjust the high and low pressure on this and then the other setting is uh, 15 minutes okay so for example we want to go ahead and uh, start cooking uh, you just hit that and then uh, wait And then it's going to show auto. And after that, the timer is going to start counting down. That means start cooking. Okay. And then you got this uh, multi grain. If you press one time, it shows 40, one hour, 20. So you can still also set the different uh, pressure. And on uh, the multi grain, you could uh, customize uh, if you need a longer uh, than 20 minutes, you could customize yourself. But you gotta look at the heat. Right now it's on low. So if you need higher, you need to press one more time. And now you see the heat is uh, at normal. And if you press uh, one more time again, it shows uh, more, more heat. And you can still uh, customize the uh, the time on this, longer or less. And uh, next one will be the porridge. 20, 30, and five minutes. So as you can see, it says five minutes and the pressure is, uh, I mean, the heat is less. <laughs> and over here, it still could customize uh, either longer or less time. So now it's on normal, and now it's on more heat. So let's go to steam. So basically it's the same thing, okay? That so you can customize the low and high pressure. So you press steam, it shows uh, 10 minutes. If you press one more time, it shows uh, 15. And press one more time, it shows uh, three minutes, and you got the less heat. And let's jump into the soup or broth. It shows uh, one minute. And this one you can customize the low and high pressure as well. And then the times. If you press one more time, it shows four minutes and then more heat. And 20 minutes, you got less heat. And then you have uh, the meat and then the stew. So it shows 35 minutes, 45 minutes, it shows more heat. 20 minutes, it shows uh, less heat. And then the next one will be the bean and then the chili. So 30 minutes, 40, and 25. And this is, you can still uh, change the low and high pressure and then the uh, time. And then you got the poultry. Shows a uh, 15 minute high pressure and then normal. 30 minute high pressure and then uh, more. Five minute high pressure and then show less heat.
So when you press cancel, it's in the off uh, position. Then there's a slow cooker. You cannot modify uh, pressure level on this, but you can modify the, the time. And it's uh, increment by half an hour each time that you press. So if you, you could uh, change to uh, less heat, normal heat, and then more heat by pressing the slow cook button again. Okay? And uh, on the instruction on saute, it says uh, keep the lid off. So, so you press it, you could modify the less, normal, or more heat. And then uh, you could change the timer on this as well. So the saute is only the maximum time is uh, 30 minutes. Then you got this uh, yogurt. Let's see, it's on normal heat. If you press it more one more time, it's, it says uh, boil. It's, it shows uh, more heat. And then uh, if you press one more time, it shows uh, 24 hours. So you can set, and then you could decrease it by uh, 30 minutes at a time. And then there's a pressure cook. So the pressure cook is uh, 20 minutes. And this one, you can set the different pressure. And if you press one more time, it shows uh, one hour and then no more. And if you press one more time, it shows 45 uh, minutes and then more heat. So this one is, uh, you can customize it and stuff. So in case you want the uh, food to keep warm, you could just press by keep warm, okay? Or if you want, you could use a delay and start. Depends on what you're cooking or whatever. And you press delay. You could set like a automatic cook like six hours or whatever. You could, uh, right now it's flashing in, in the hour position. And you can go up to 24 hours. And then you press one more time, you can set the minutes on this thing. So it jumped by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10 minutes at a time, all right? So hopefully this will help you guys uh, for the beginners because uh, I got this as a gift from my sister and I didn't know how to use it. And uh, try to go on YouTube. It's kind of, I don't know why people are making a YouTube uh, video when they are try to shoot the video in a dark place. It's so hard to see and they don't explain it quite clearly. So that's why I'm making this uh, video. So hopefully this uh, video will help you guys out. So be sure to like this video and then uh, turn on that bell for notification. Please uh, hit that subscribe button and share this with your friend and family on social media. And then uh, drop me in the comments on below. And hopefully this will help them out to how to uh, use this uh, instant pot either the 60 or the 80 model. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, guys. Like always, peace.